Hello and welcome to Wednesday's Words of Worship. Have you ever experienced a time in your day when life has just been so hectic and you've been so busy and then all of a sudden you find yourself alone in your house or alone somewhere where all the distractions are removed? There's almost an eerie sense of quiet and then a feeling of calm and peace comes across your entire being as it feels like your spirit is being renewed as you indulge in the peace and the quiet. You know, there are many instances in the Bible where Jesus retreated to the solitude of a mountaintop or a garden and would spend time alone with his father. In John 6, Jesus went up into the mountains and there he sat with his disciples. In Matthew 14, the Bible says, And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. You know, today we need to be intentional about spending some alone time with God. Science and technology have provided us with incredible material comforts and connections. We're connected daily, continuously if we choose to be, with things like satellite radio, satellite TV, all types of mobile devices, with access to games, information, and instructions. And there are very few times when we are free from connection or even intrusion by our current technology. What we intended to be a blessing in our life has in some cases become a curse. And with these multiple distractions, it makes it very difficult to incorporate alone devotional time into our lives. We all need to be in corporate fellowship together to gather with the body of Christ, sharing in corporate worship and fellowship with our Christian brothers and sisters. But there are certain spiritual things that we can only learn when we retreat to our mountaintop or our quiet place. Jesus knew the importance of withdrawing purposefully for quiet times of renewal and communion with his Father. So even if it's just for a brief time, try to escape today and retire to some solitude and quietness and in silence wait before God and allow him to rejuvenate your spirit or rekindle the joy of your salvation and appreciate who he is and what he's done. I hope that this week you will find time, some quiet time, some quiet solitude on your mountaintop and commune privately with God, undistracted and uninterrupted. He'll be waiting for you there. Hey, thanks for listening. I'm Kevin and hope to see you again next week.